and then do it. This is a video to explain the 4x4 four four digit multiplication that you asked for. First of all, I'm going to explain 2x2 two two digit, and then the 3x3, three three, and then the 4x4. Four four. So hopefully that will be obvious to you by the time we get to that. And also it's for other people to watch it if they want to. So first of all, 2x2 two two digit. Um, there are three steps to it, so I've written out all three steps, although we wouldn't normally do that. So the first step is right-hand column. So the right-hand column, which is 4 times 1, which is 4. So by the second step, we have 4. On the second step, we draw or imagine a little cross in the centre like that. And what we're going to do is multiply along the lines of the cross. So we're going to do 4 times 2, which is 8, and 1 times 1, which is 1. Add those two together, so 8 and 1, and we get 9. So, so far we've got 9 and 4. And then the final step is just 1 times 2, left-hand column. 1 times 2, so that's 2, and there's our answer, 294. So we've done that without any writing down working, the answer just appears in front of us. So for 41 times 32, another example here where we'll just do this without writing it three times. We do the right-hand column, so that's going to be 1 times 2, which is 2. Then the cross, so 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 3 is 3. Let's so add those two together, and we get 11, so that's 1, carry 1. And then finally, 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 plus 1, 13. There's the answer. So if we go to a 3x3 three three digit, we can see that because there are a couple of extra numbers in this, there are a couple of extra steps. But four of the steps are exactly the same as we just saw. So first step is right-hand column. So we do 1 times 2, which is 2. So when we come to the second step, we've got the same thing, 2. As before, second step is this cross here. So we're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 times 1, which is 1. Add those two answers together, we're going to get 5. When it comes to the third step, this is what's different to the previous two-step method. We're going to have something that I call a Union Jack situation, because I'm English. But you might see it as a snowflake, or whatever pattern you want, but um, I just call it a Union Jack situation. So here we're going to have a three, three uh, multiplications to do. So we're going to do 1 times 2, 3 times 1, and 2 times 1, and add them all together. So, so far we've got the 5 and 2, and we're just going to multiply along these lines. So we've got 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. Add them all together, and we have 7. So, fourth step, we've got 7, 5, 2 so far, and now we just do the complete reverse of what we've done so far. So we do the left hand side, we're going to have a cross here. So it's very symmetrical to this, it's just the opposite of that. So the right hand side being done is the left hand side. So we're going to do 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, add those together and we get 7. So so far we've got 7, 7, 5, 2. And the final step again is using that symmetry, it's just going to be left hand column as opposed to the right hand column at the start. So 1 times 3 is 3. So we get 3, 7, 7, 5, 2. So to show this on the actual question that's in the video above, we've got the right-hand column, 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we've got 5 times 3 plus 4 times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12. Add this together. We've got 27. Now we've got the Union Jack situation. So we've got 9, 3 is 27, 1, 3 is 3, so that's 30 so far, 5, 4 is a 20, so that's 50, which makes 52. Then we have 9, 4 is 36, and 5 times 1 is 5, so that's 41, and the 5, 46. And finally, 9 times 1 is 9, so we have 1, 3, 6, 2, 7, 9. Like in the video. Okay, so that's those um, techniques for two and three digit. So the four digit is going to follow the same pattern. 
except there are now seven steps because there are two extra numbers. I haven't actually got room to write off <laughs> seven of these steps, so I'm going to do the last step twice. You'll, see, you'll, know, you'll know what it is by now anyway, I'm sure. Again, the only difference will be the middle step is going to be different, but the other steps we've already done. Um, just going back to that 3x3 three three digit, the great thing about this is that we can also use it for two digits. And as the higher you go, you can actually start using the technique for everything. So this 4x4 four four digit would work on everything as well. But I'll show you, So you can probably imagine how it starts, right hand column, 2 times 2. So that's 4. And then the next one is going to be the cross here, so that's 2 and 2, which is also 4. The third step is going to be the union jack situation, so we've got 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 times 1, so that's 13. So, so far we've got 3, 4, 4, with the 1 carried. And when it comes to the fourth step, because there are now 4 numbers, we need to do what I call a double cross. So we have a big cross, and we have a little cross. And again, this is a symmetrical shape. Notice it all goes through that centre. So we're going to have 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. So add them all together. So 2, 2, 4, 4 is 8, and 2 is 10, plus is 1 is 11. So we've got... 1, 3, 4, 4, and a 1 down there. Um, and again, I'm just going to do the reverse of what we've done. So we've got next step is going to be the union jack, which is going to be on this side. So we're going to do 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, plus 8, so that's 10, so that's another 11. So now we've got 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, with this 1 carried. Next up is going to be that cross because that's the reverse of what we did before. So 2 and 4 is 6, so that makes 7. And the final step, I didn't write it again because of the room, but it's just a left-hand column. So 1 times 1 is 1. So we get 1,711,344. So to show you that without having to write it out uh, 6 or 7 times, I'm just going to go right-hand column, 1 times 1. Cross is 2 and 1 is 3. Union jack is 1 and 1 and 2, so that's 4. Now the double cross, so we've got 3 and 4, 7, 1 and 2, so that's 10. 0 carry 1. Now the union jack again, 3, 8, 1, so that's 12, plus the 1, 13. 3 and 1, sorry, 3 and 4, which makes 7, plus the 1 is 8, and then 3, 4 to 12. So we get 12,830,431. I hope that all makes sense. You probably might be thinking now, okay, what about five digit multiplication and six and so on? Yeah, it's all going to be the same. The, just going to be, the, the middle step is always just going to be uh, a new uh, technique. It's always going to be a symmetrical shape like a union jack or a double cross. Have a go at figuring it out yourself and uh, get back to me if you can do it or if not. Let me know. Okay, good luck.